In this video, we will look at practical examples on how to use for loops and why it is a powerful programming tool for data processing applications. Our objective is given multiple sets of data, we want a script that implements a for loop to represent each data set with their own figures and label them. We are choosing the for loop because it eliminates the need for repeating the same code each time we want to plot another data set, which is great because this also makes it more efficient to make changes to our plots. We will load in voltage versus time and amplitude versus frequency data sets along with built in MATLAB functions. The data will be loaded in and stored as cells. This is because the size of the data will change with each test run. In order for us to index the cells, we will use curly brackets. First, we will demonstrate how to use MATLAB functions to create a figure for a single data set. We will call the subplot and plot functions. The subplot function allows us to conveniently create multiple plots on the same figure. For our first subplot, we will be visualizing time versus voltage. For our second subplot, we will be visualizing frequency versus amplitude. We will also be labeling the title for each of our data sets. Second, because we will use a for loop to accomplish our objective, we will go over the structure of a for loop. The for loop allows us to repeat any task for a specified number of times. The initial value, step size, and end value for the index variable is set. The condition is true if the index variable is less or equal to the end value. It is false if the index variable is greater than the end value. The task will be performed for as many times as the condition is true. The index variable increments by the step size. The condition is checked again. If the condition is false, the for loop ends. Third, we want to generate and label all of our data sets. We also want to avoid copying and pasting our code for each plot we intend to make. Instead, we will execute this in the for loop as we've mentioned before. We will initialize our counter variable as 1, our step size as 1, and our end value as 5 since we have 5 plots to make. Our condition will be true if i is 1 through 5 and false if it exceeds 5. Also, don't forget that every for loop needs an end statement. For making multiple plots with different datasets, we will use the same MATLAB functions for plotting and labeling a single plot from earlier. We will insert our MATLAB functions for plot, title, and sprintf into our for loop. These are the tasks we want to execute. Note that our counter variable has been inserted into our curly brackets for the time, voltage, frequency, amplitude, and sample rate variables. We will use the sprintf function within our for loop so that we can change the name of our plots as we plot different data sets. How the sprintf function works is as our counter variable i increases, it will replace the percent %s format operator with the string inside our sample rate variable, which holds all of our strings that describe the sample rate that we took the test data at. When the for loop executes, what is happening is when the counter variable is 1, the plot function is taking the first data set and plotting it and then labeling it. When the counter variable increments to 2 and 3 and so on, the same tasks will be performed again using the second and third data sets. When the counter variable exceeds 5, the for loop ends and continues to the next line of code. In conclusion, what we have accomplished in this video is we took five unique datasets and plotted and labeled them within the for loop. We were able to do this because we knew ahead of time how many times we wanted to execute our tasks. Since we did not have to copy and paste the same code five different times, we can easily make changes to our titles and other tasks if we wanted to. By knowing the structure of a for loop, you can implement any set of tasks for a given number of times in your future assignments. For more information on for loops, be sure to check out the link in the description.